In this video, you're going to learn about a different kind of for loop. It is called a for each loop, or sometimes called an enhanced for loop. It is a different way of iterating through a collection of items. And when I say a collection of items, I mean an array or an array list. An array or array list is just a bunch of items. So you're going to use a for each loop or enhanced for loop to iterate through, to look at every item in that collection in the array or array list. So before we take a look at the enhanced for loop, let's just jog your memory. Uh, this here, I've declared an integer array called nums. I have five integers in here. And I'm going to print out the contents of this array using a regular for loop, the normal for loop that you know and love. So here is a normal for loop, three parts, of course. I'm declaring an integer x in this case, starts at 0. Uh, keep iterating as long as x is less than the length of the array. Of course, you know the length is 5, but the last item is item number 4. Its index is 4, so I go less than the length, and I increment x after each time through. And here I am just printing out the contents of each item, nums x. This is the number at each index x that's going to get printed out, followed by a space. And then I have a print ln, which goes, of course, to the next line when I'm done printing out the items in the array. So that is a normal for loop, nothing, no big deal there. Underneath it, I wrote a version of this printing out all the items in the array using an enhanced for loop or for each loop. And you can see it's a little bit shorter and it reads a little bit differently. So I would read through this. I would say that this is really saying for each int x. So x is just an integer. And notice the syntax here. There's a colon, not a semicolon, colon. Um, and nums is the collection that I'm iterating through. So when I see an enhanced for loop, I always read this to myself as for each integer x, in nums. In other words, x is going to be set to each integer in the collection in the array, in this case, called nums. So as I iterate through, this for loop keeps repeating. As I iterate through, it prints out x with a space. Now in this case, x is the actual item in the array. It's the actual element inside the array. In the first case, in a regular for loop, x is just the index. So if I want to print out what's at position x, I have to say nums square bracket x. Again, nothing new about this. But in an enhanced for loop, this variable right here is the actual item in the array. So notice I'm not saying uh, you know I have to keep going as long as I'm less than the length. Nope. An enhanced for loop automatically goes through the entire array. So an enhanced for loop is pretty cool, but you can see it already has some limitations. You basically have to iterate. You basically have to look at or go through every single item in, in the collection. Now, often when you see an enhanced uh, for loop written, this variable, I probably shouldn't have called it x because x kind of sounds like an index, but really this is each item. So often you'll see it written something like this. So this is basically he's saying um, for each int num in nums, right? Nums is an array filled with integer values called num. So I'm going to run this. I'll compile and run it. And you'll see that it will just print out. I think I ran it once already. It prints out the array twice. Of course, the first time it got printed from this normal for loop. And then the next time I'm printing out the items using an enhanced for loop. All right, let's look at one more example. So here is a second example of using a for each loop to iterate through uh, an array list I'm, I'm doing in this case. Um, so here I have an array list of string objects named fruits. I'm declaring this on two lines, right? Actually, I'm declaring my, um, my array list of string objects named fruits. And then underneath it, I'm setting fruits to a new array list of string objects. Okay, so I have an array list called fruits, and here I am adding one, two, three, four, five fruits. I guess I added oranges or orange twice, and uh, apple is in there also twice. Okay, so underneath it, I'm going to use an enhanced for loop or a for each loop to iterate through my structure right here and look at every item. And I'm going to count, I've decided I'm going to count the number of occurrences of apple. All right, great. So here I've made an integer called apple count, setting it to zero. 
And here is my enhanced for loop. And again, I, would, I always read this to myself as uh, for each string, right? This, this word right here is the, is the type of item that your array or array list contains. In this particular case, um, my array list contains string objects, right? So that's why I put string here. In the previous example, I wrote int because my array contained ints. So for each string f, and this is just a variable name, in fruits. Now, I, I guess I could have called this fruit for each string fruit in fruits, but I guess I was lazy. I just called it f to represent each fruit. Um, and then here I just have a normal if statement, if f equals apple. Now, again, f is not an index. F is the actual item in your structure, in your array or array list. Uh, and again, with an with enhanced for loop, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's very you can you can write it real short, but it's a little bit limited. Really, the only thing you can use it for is if you want to look at every single item in your array or array list. And you really you you can't. Uh, you can't use a for each loop if you want to delete items from an array or, or, well, you can't delete them from an array, but from an array list or to add items um, to an array list. It's really just for iterating through the entire structure and looking at every single item. So here I'm just counting, I'm iterating through and I'm saying if f dot equals apple, then I'll increase apple count. And then at the end, I'm just gonna print out how many times I found apple so I can run this. Hopefully it'll work. And you can see that Apple was found two times, and in fact, it was. Thanks for watching.